Good day for you as well. I've wired this uh, little amplifier up here. Looking at the um, data sheet for this manufacturer here, it tells you exactly which that H pin doesn't show you auto block diagram and schematic. And I have wired it up according to that. Still no go. This was definitely working okay when um, when I scrapped the TV, so it kind of bloody popped. Hmm. It's wired up correctly. It seems, seems to be no go. Nothing when I touch the input. It's not hot, not even warm. And then it's a transformer, so there's no short. Nothing at all. It's not picking up anything. Plug the radio in. Turn it on. Very, very faint uh, audio coming through. Not sure what's going on. There is a, um, a PCB for this on the um, data sheet, so I could print that out and use a toner transfer method. But I've got to get some um, a chemical and some uh, uh, circuit board for it. I don't see why this thing might work. The ground, the ground is ground. For that, for the outputs, goes the ground. They're okay. Not in, not inverting is positive for the input, and inverting is the um, uh, left for the left channel, uh, negative. So that, that that's all correct. Then what's going on? Maybe further on in this circuit or something where this little profile chip is. Maybe there's something that that has to do it to do with it. They must have to have something to do with it. So, not sure. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, rescue some goodies off this board. I'm going to get this transformer off, I'll reuse that. Get that resistor off, that switch, the fuse and the holder, and those diodes, and a couple of other goodies I can uh, put in my spare parts um, container. Okay, viewers, I've got the transformer on the uh, end of that um, standby circuit board on that TV. That's the standby transformer there. And a bridge rectifier, I also got also off the circuit board, so that was off the. Um, that, that, that actually came into the Mitsubishi TV. Alright, let's see how much volts this thing's putting out. Set that aside. Should be at least 12 volts, I think. Yeah, 14.09 volts unloaded. That's pretty good. Um, obviously, it's going to be 100 hertz. But just to prove it's 100 hertz, four way effector fire to plug this. Yep, that's four, four wave. All right, there you go. Let's see what I can power with this. Okay, viewers, this big uh, computer fan here needs 1.05 amp minimum to run. So that's how much current it's going to pull. Let's see how much um, power this transformer can supply for this fan. It's only a, probably, I reckon it's a 500 milliamp transformer. It's not a very big one. Be at least half an amp, so let's see. Yeah, it's not running at full power. So the voltage would have dropped on that transformer. It's probably putting at least, I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 volts. So yeah, probably be about 500 milliamps max this transformer. Yeah. Viewers, that's a nice little power supply made from scrap and recycled parts. Thanks for watching.